kayak, the Apostle Islands, beauty in the great outdoors, and Dan Monsky. Now there is a combination. The Great Lakes are often referred to as the north coast of the United States. Certainly, Lake Superior is like an inland sea. It's huge, deep, bone chilling, and can be very temperamental. But there is an oasis along northern Wisconsin, a place to escape where the waters can be calm, and yes, even warm. It's the Apostle Islands. Among these islands, there are places to explore unexpected and mysterious beauty. One of the best ways to experience these gems is by sea kayak. Like York is like lots of shrubbery and like really low stuff. Here's there's lots of big trees. Wow. Um, okay, so we're all ready to go. If you want to grab the two backs okay. with both hands, there's two grabbed hands and I'll get the fronts here. Kayaks are small crafts. A trip in one of these will not be like taking a queen's voyage. Sea kayaking puts you in the cockpit. This gives you an intimate experience with the environments you encounter. The cockpit seats you close to the water, feeling the water dripping along the paddle shaft. The splash of water as your paddle hits a wave between paddle strokes. You feel acceleration with every stroke as you glide through the water to your destination. You are an active participant feeling the rush of freedom in control of your destination and your destiny. But to get that freedom, you have to acquire a bit of skill and understanding. The muscles we want to be using today for paddling is our core and our abs. So if you can just stick your hands straight out for me and twist side to side, then I'm going to pull it on here and leave my grab loop out. Um, to tuck forward, so you tuck and take your hands on your boat and feel the combing, slide it up to the grab loop, pull it towards like your head, and then what you're going to do is you're going to push out your butt like you're taking off a pair of pants and you will just fall out of your boat. The point of these guided sea kayaking adventures is not to become a certified expert, but to introduce people to the thrill of the experience. A little skill and information is all you need to get out to comfortably and safely have some fun. When we take people out um, on guided trips, I find that the things they appreciate the most is learning something new. Is um, kayaking, if they've never done it before, is exciting, it's cool. Um, they can paddle their own boat, learn different strokes, and then also just being out on Lake Superior is just super awesome because it's so unique in all the things you get to see and do when you're kayaking. It's beautiful out. We're going to Sand Island. It's about a two and a half, three mile paddle. And where we're headed for right now is that sandy bay there, you can see it. Tell me about the island because it looks like it's got a lot of diversity. Yeah, here. Sand Island is really sweet. It's just really cool how it's so diverse. Um, and it's really sweet how the sea caves are on the open side of the island to where it's open to Lake Superior, strong north storms. Um, they're always on a point. So what we're looking at right now is kind of a miniature version of the bigger sea caves. Really wow. pretty. The bigger awesome. than it too. Mm -hmm. Wow. So these ones we can just paddle up to, but the bigger ones we can go in and out of. As you approach the islands, excitement kicks in when distinctive features start to become visible. That is when it feels like the adventure really begins. That looks cool. All the moss in the little cove. And like the little trees and flowers that like just grow everywhere. Almost little bonsai environments. A lot of moss in here. And you can feel the damp. I know, like it's like it just holds it all in. Yeah. I can't believe the sound of the crashing waves, know, how really loud that is. It's like they amplify it. This is all slab rock. You'll see even more of it. Wow. Really shallow. That's cool. Ooh, look at the moss here. It's so pretty. Oh, yeah. It's so green. Like, you see rock, and then it's like, bam, green. And you can feel the temperature difference in mm -hmm. here. Like, cooler. Yeah. And then the water difference. You can even smell the rock. Mm -hmm. the like the mossy, damp, yeah. like almost humidness of it. You hear that? Nearly all the senses are aroused on a sea kayaking trip to the Apostles. And look at that. It's the rippled sandy bottom of an ancient seabed. The wonders of nature, even ancient history, are visible here. 
I've been sea kayak guiding for about seven years now, and I love being right on the lake. I love being close to shore. I love just being surrounded by God's beautiful nature and just being like right up close and personal with the water. You feel like you're on an ocean when you're on it. Um, you can paddle close to shore, you can go see islands, you can do crossings. It's so versatile in all aspects of it, and it's just, it's just so beautiful. The islands reveal their best treasures when you think you've seen it all. Probably one of the things that people come to see the most is the sea caves. Caves are really unique in the fact that it's like, it's like a maze inside. You can paddle in, it's kind of like Swiss cheese if you think about it, like so many holes and so many um, places to go. Another thing that's really cool about paddling the caves is the water is so clear. You can see 15 feet down and oftentimes it's really shallow and people really like to swim in them if they can. And the water is just so clear to paddle over and being able to look down and see the cool shelf rocks underwater is really amazing. I just love kayaking. Like, kayaking is so much fun for me. Just getting out, enjoying creation, coming out here to Sand Island, seeing the wildlife and, and just experiencing Lake Superior. It's so beautiful. Um, just, it's so awesome. Oftentimes when you're paddling out in the sea caves, you meet a lot of other groups from other guide services or just people paddling for their own fun. And you get a chance to meet a really a lot of cool people. When we just came around the corner where the caves were and saw the awesome openings and being able to paddle through them, it was just absolutely beautiful. It's really awe-inspiring to see all the holes and how the water's eroded at all. Sea kayaking is not an exclusive activity for the fit, trim, and athletic. Kayaking is not a hard activity. It's just learning how to control your boat. They give you instructions. They teach you how to roll and, and all that stuff so you're prepared before you come out. You see, an Apostle Island paddling voyage is suitable for all individuals. An adventurous spirit helps, as you will encounter a different world. So be open to the unknown, to exploring the mysteries of nature and her beauty. This is an incredible place, truly worthy of a visit. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.